In this video, I'm going to answer the question, why is the derivative of ln x equal to 1 over x? And to do this, we need to rely on two very fundamental properties. The first is, uncontroversially, that the derivative of x is 1. That comes from the definition of a derivative. And you have to be able to use derivatives to prove this. So the other thing we're going to have to rely on is that e to the ln x equals x. That comes from the definitions of the exponentials and the natural logarithms. That is also a statement that is completely true in mathematics. We now notice that we've used x twice, that we've got the derivative of x equals 1. We also know that x and e to the ln x are completely equal. They are the same thing, effectively. So we can replace the x in our derivative with e to the ln x without changing the expression. So the derivative of e to the ln x must be 1 because of the previous two statements. So the next step would be to find this derivative. And to do that, we need to remind ourselves of the chain rule. So the chain rule says that the derivative of e to the power u is the derivative of the whole thing. So that's e to the u because the derivative of e to the u is e to the u multiplied by the derivative of this power here. So we do du dx. And let's look at an example that is nice and straightforward to practice how this works. So if we wanted to find the derivative of e to the 2x, we would know that the derivative of e to the 2x is e to the 2x. Then the derivative of this power here, which is like our du dx, is coming out to be 2. So we end up with 2e to the 2x. If we do exactly this procedure on this here, so we're doing e to the ln x is going to come out front, and then we'll do the derivative of the power here, which will give us just the derivative of ln x, which we don't know. So we get this expression here. So that's come out in front, just like that um, e to the 2x was repeated. And then we're doing the derivative of this power, which is giving us d by dx of ln x. Now, we should notice that this e to the ln x should be familiar. We've seen this earlier. And we've seen that e to the ln x is just x. So we can replace this with x. So we get x times the derivative that we want to find equals 1. Simply take the x to the other side, divide both sides by x. And that proves that the derivative of ln x is 1 over x, which is what we set out to do. So we've now proved that the derivative of ln x is 1 over x, relying on two very simple, very fundamental properties of mathematics. So hopefully this video was helpful to you and thank you very much for watching.